Hi everyone, Cody here. So, we came up to this uh, other mine, and uh, yesterday we dug out the entrance. Uh, today, the plan is to go down the hole, and grab some samples from my x ray. I can see what's here. Let me uh, turn, uh, turn up the ISO real quick. So we can actually see in here. brighter as we go in. There we go. So this here is a pile of clay. It's actually fault gouge. It came down through this fault here. Yeah. So the rocks uh, moved at some point. Uh, we're pretty sure this fault is actually no longer active. This hole was dug about 90 years ago. So back in the 1930s, 40s. And it goes back about 120 feet. I do kind of have to duck because the guy who dug this was shorter than I am. There's a Hawaiian by the name of Hupiano. It was a friend of my grandpa's. But we currently own the mine. Uh, we were here working about five years ago. And we're, we're back again now that we have some better equipment. So yeah, I want to go down there today. This is a 65 foot ladder. It doesn't go all the way to the bottom, so it's about 70 feet down. Uh, there's an old log that was there from when he was originally digging. There, there used to be wooden ladders and stuff in this hole, but it's all since rotted. We might lasso that and pull it out at some point. There's a little shaft going that way, stops. So yeah, here's the hole. Hopefully we'll go down there today. It's a pretty big pulley. something to wire that in so it don't fall off. We need wires. Yeah. There's a piece of wire behind you on the ground. How long has it been there? <laughs> huh? Should we put it on this one? Yeah. It'd help. I think this is the one we, the piece of wire I used. <laughs> you know what? I think there's some wire out there. I think there's a roll on the rock somewhere. static line. It's coming undone. <clears throat> Alright, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Grasshopper. Uh, cave cricket. Yeah. There's a couple of them up here. down there a little ways, let's see if I can hold your weight. Okay. You ready? I'm going to kind of hold on to this ledge here. Alright. You got me? Watch the bee. That's my full weight. Okay, we're almost not going to be able to see him. Oh yeah, you'll, you'll lose track of me. Okay. Alright, so I'm at the bottom of the hole, you can see the shaft actually kind of turns a little bit here. So there's the end of the ladders. Remember those are 65 feet long. It's probably another 5 feet down to this pile of rubble. We 
really ought to clean this out. It'll be a bit of a chore, won't it? See if I can see the vein that he was following. It's probably this right here. Yes, or this. Let me get the bucket down. I'm gonna take samples every few inches across here. And when we get back up, I'll we'll X-ray them and see where the gold is. Yeah, that's why I'm wearing the hard hat. All right, I'm gonna have to climb up there to get it. All right, I got it. All right, so here's my first sample. Looks like he was digging into whatever this is. Iron rich. This contains other things. Let's put that in my bucket. Really ought to have some dividers. Okay, so we got that. Like a sample of that. And then Feels like shale. Okay. I want a chunk of this black stuff here. There we go. That does look interesting. Okay. That red. Let's get some of that. Feels like a clay. It's not interesting though. Okay. I'll just uh, keep going, breaking a rock every now and then. Here's one of the old uh, drill holes. He was actually blasting it. I think this right here looks very promising. Definitely got a sample of it. I'm gonna try to get some of this yellow next. Here's what my bucket looks like so far. Samples going around. Hmm. What's this? Oh. Definitely get some of that. All right, you ready to pull it up? Is that on? Yeah, it's on. Try not to mix the contents up too much. Huh? Try not to mix the contents of it up too much. All right, you got it. You're gonna drag the sides? A little bit. All right, you got it. Oh, it's hooked into the chain. There you go. So I'm looking at this hole in the wall right there. And directly opposite it is this mark. That's wood grain. There's a post across here. You coming? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start humming up. I'm gonna take up some of the slack on the rope. Myself. <laughs> you coming? Yeah. I'm just taking a picture up the hole. <laughs> the ladder's freezing. It's cold on my hands. Can you record them on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's gotta be like 40 degrees down there. It's 40 up in here. Well, maybe 60. It's definitely warmer up here. So after x-raying all these rocks, it looks like what has the highest uh, 
amount of values is this rock right here. It's kind of a greenish in color. Probably got a lot of silica mixed in with it. There's some iron staining here. I'll show you what the uh, x-ray had to say about it. So apparently it's got a lot of chlorine. So that's uh, probably got hydrothermal waters gone through it. Uh, very high in calcium. It is calcium carbonate primarily probably. Now of course this shows that it's above 100% so that tells you that uh, basically just pegged my meter. So go down some manganese, iron, some nickel. It could be that's causing the green color. There's our gold. Which is about five parts per million. This uh, other rock at four and the rest of these showing nothing. A little bit of mercury, some strontium, and that's it. So there's probably a little bit of phosphorus, even though it didn't give me a nice phosphorus peak. There we go. So this, now of course you got to take these numbers with a grain of salt. Uh, you could probably come in here and look at the graph to get a good idea. Let's see, it's about 9.7 if there's a spike. Yeah, so there's probably some gold in it. We are going to have to do some uh, further exploration to see for sure how much is in it.